joints on the left Live in the head, but I still get a spread Started with a live, but I still reinvest it Fear how I feel, then you feel less a blessing I just want the lesson, I just want protection I'm up and I'm down, but the sound like progression Farming never plans if he waits for perfection I think it's in the doubt yeah. yeah. Alright ladies and gentlemen, I hope you had a wonderful day The market was absolutely wild today We have so many things that we need to cover But we gotta talk about the pain returning The bear market rally Pretty much what we saw today In the midst of all of it There was two things that we saw last time in April and May, right before we kept going down. So, I'm going to share that with you. We're going to talk about all of the news that happened today. There was literally a bunch, and then what to expect for the rest of the week. It's surprisingly very chill because we do not have that much data, but you got the CPI on Friday. So, drop your thumbs up on the video. Make sure you're subscribed, and if you don't know, first link is flashing right there, baby. YouTube.com slash the stock market. Hopefully, we see you there for the stream and i gotta change real quick i don't know if you, i wanted you to see this because i told you how i eat sometimes bro look like i got attacked by a raccoon i don't know if you see it the camera's actually making it look good so yeah hold on all right see we're right back to it look at that i just needed something more breathable chest to the sub baby amen but let's talk about today i'm gonna go for the signals here in the middle but let's just talk about how we opened up so literally we had a gap down without this we probably would have ended negative and surprisingly we actually ended positive but this morning there was news about alibaba the china stocks dd again china reopening plus uh, the chinese government saying they're going to allow dd to operate again all of those stocks went crazy. Didi was up 50%. Futu Holdings was up another 30%. Alibaba, 9 Golden Dragon Index, 9 They all started going crazy. Oil started dropping. And literally, he had a lot of excitement pre-market. Then Elon, he came in and was talking about what he's going to do with the Twitter deal. People reacted to that a little bit. Then there was the UK drama there with Boris. They had a no-confidence vote. He ended up winning, and that ended up being good. So that got out the way. And then the yen started moving the dollar i'm telling you by the open there was so many things a lot of uh of the uh, economies that were closed last week they reopened people were feeling very excited u.s stocks everything got bit up there was nothing in the red and then by the middle of the day or like pretty much after the first hour we didn't get past that like 416 we just started dropping and then more news kept coming out we had the apple developer conference they were saying a bunch of different things related to like no more passwords new computer chips uh you could unsend text messages and then they didn't mention everything about anything about privacy and that's been killing facebook and snapchat those stocks rocketed up after no announcement but we were getting all of that news throughout the day then you had the sec by the end of the day saying that they're coming out with a bunch of uh, new changes by fall which are pretty much make Robinhood kind of obsolete, believe it or not, where it would be almost impossible now to front run trains. So this is a big deal. Virtue and Robinhood, they reacted to that. We even heard the Texas general, the attorney general, he is actually investigating Twitter now and their bots and pretty much all of this news was happening throughout the day, but most of the reaction came in the morning off of one thing. And then once we hit the lows, we kind of stayed calm. So a lot of different things, a lot of news, literally from the UK to China to what we're dealing with. Oh, and then also Biden, solar tariffs as well. He said, or he's going to do the Defense Production Act, eliminate solar tariffs for two years. Some people weren't actually happy with it, but we'll see how it plays out. But I'm telling you, we woke up to a bunch of stuff in the morning, but then a lot of people got confused by this little drop right here. So why did this happen? What were the two other things and why are they important and why could they be signaling? that the bear market rally is actually still very much in play bonds and the Japanese yen so let's start here with bonds again here's the 10 year and what you'll notice we are back above three percent and if you actually take a look there there's not too many times we were if there was any other time we started getting up here at these levels it was between the beginning of April and the end of April leading into May and well look at what the market looked like pretty much as the bonds kept going up and up and up and anytime above three percent that's where people got very very nervous so now we're back up at three 3% markets kind of getting a little nervous some people a lot of people they don't think that it's going to go too crazy but if it does from here this is the first signal pretty much by the end of the day or the middle of the day here as everything was moving and doing good the bonds kept going down and by the time it started hitting 3% 
People in the market started freaking out. They did not like that. So that was the first thing. And now the second thing, the Japanese yen. The Japanese yen also hit another high. And again, same thing with April leading into now. Last time we had a big bounce and sold off back to lows. The Japanese yen started weakening. Why is this bad? Because the Japanese currency should be a safe haven. Here in 2022, we have not seen that happen, and that has been a very big problem. And now it's going back up again. This could be signaling global inflation. It is just not good at all. But now both of these things, and then pretty much the strength of the dollar, this is something we keep bringing up. If you want to see, uh, I guess, the short-term stability in the market, pretty much we have not been able to really bounce without the dollar really declining. If the dollar goes up, the market's probably going to stay down or stay volatile, and that's exactly what we saw here today. So tomorrow, you're going to get the trade balance. Friday, we get the data, but this is what I would be watching towards the end of the week. It's going to be quiet. We're getting a lot of back and forth. There was also good news with chip makers and the cars and all that. Again, there was a ton of news today, but the reaction got a little weird, and it kind of uh, brings us back to what we saw in the beginning of the year where the market wants to see what bonds are doing. They want to see what other countries are doing and then that is going to have more influence or dictate what the fed is going to do and how we are going to interpret our data so all of that happened today those were the big things don't forget about the dollar don't forget about the yen and don't forget about the bonds above three percent but now if those keep going crazy those are all the pain signals and that will tell you right now as we move forward we might see a little bit more volatility as we're kind of hanging out with whether or not we bounce or not and if we do bounce the real bounce i think we get capped at 430 but real bounce the market would break above 430 so even on the upside keep that in mind now we're a little all over the place but that's pretty much the gist of all of it today it's dissecting and understanding all this news but just simply watching those indicators until we get data or even market movements or even new policy again that sec thing is big anything of that nature that could dictate the moves oh and even part of today amazon and google again the split amazon went up five it affected everything even google Google, which is about the slit uh, split this was kind of a trial run so watch out for that but as far as the plays I only made one play today is a little bit big I did the uh, buy the calls sell the shares there or sell or buy the puts uh, to get the insurance the share strategy I bought Enphase Energy EMPH I grabbed a hundred shares at like a 113 or 213 and then I grabbed two of the 185 puts for June a little bit less on time for 270 these were expensive uh, I'm just glad that it's a utility and the play can move a lot but I did buy it a little too high we ended up negative throughout the day insurance didn't do much but I will be looking to grab more pretty much I like this solar news I would definitely be watching out for that but I do think it'll be volatile but if it relates to energy and what's going on here I think it could be a good one but that was the first play the other plays I made I sold out of the pin duo duo so remember this was also the share strategy I bought 100 shares of pin duo duo then I grabbed a bunch of the put stand remember I got a bunch of insurance well I spent about $500 there on the insurance the stock kept going crazy with the China news today I closed that out of the shares for $1,300 profit minus the $500 we spent on insurance because if that expires worthless, I have nothing. I'm still holding the puts, but pretty much now, no matter what, we are going to be walking away with $800 realized. Close out of that one, and then I closed out of the CVE for December. We bought these a while ago. They were up 150%, sold three out of five contracts, made it free, and then we also had this UNG. If you remember, the first UNG, I still held one of them. We made this free. We already got like two, three grand of profit along the way i had one more contract left it expires next week i said all right 10 percent move on ung let's sell out i sold out with still a 750 percent gain even after holding that long so that one was beautiful but those were the only other plays i'm definitely going to be watching solar and Enphase tomorrow and then with what we saw here with amazon i would definitely watch google a lot of people are asking about it it already got a little bit of hype so be careful but i really really like that and then facebook snapchat pinterest uh, even unity software watch those those were the names that simply went up three percent by apple not mentioning any new updates so i really like that they started to go up i think those are going to be very very active and then as far as anything else i brought this up yesterday people are even asking how i'm going to set up for the cpi if anything i would get the banks because it could give you a little runway into the fed otherwise i think we're going to have to see how the trade data comes in tomorrow or we want to really see where is their momentum into 
today, you saw tech stocks and discretionaries and staples, they were all down. It really wasn't that good. If anything, materials went up and then commodities, Bloomberg Commodity Index hitting new record highs. So we'll see if that one comes back. Again, we still are waiting for that mini peak here as we get into the rest of the summer. But other than that, it's watching the momentum, seeing how we develop and then making our plays from there and then utilizing this share strategy because the premiums are still crazy. So that's pretty much it. Very straightforward. Again, we're not getting a lot of data, but what I saw today, there's probably going to be a lot of news. We're going to wait for it. It's going to affect a lot of industries and then we'll see if there's any data or how people feel coming into the Fed next week. So I hope you're ready, but... That is your watch list, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure Hydra Healthy ready to go. Make sure post your watch list. Make sure we see you there in the morning. I need the armor on. I need the helmet shining. I need you to remember, no mistake gets rid of destiny, baby. You still got the purpose. You still chosen. You still making moves, baby. So let's go, bro. You're dealing with the chill guy. He is good. It's good. We still in the game, baby. Today flew by. We got a full week. Let's close it out. Let's get our CPI and let's get ready for the rest of this year in a hot stock summer. No, no. Is that last year's joke? Okay. Okay. All right. I love you, Chad. Okay. Drink water. Okay. I, I messed it up a little. I love you, though. And I love the outro. And, and a, hundred, a little effort will go a long way, Chad. Okay. I love you. I'm sorry. I don't mean to yell at you. I love you. It's love, bro. So pray for me. I'm going to pray for you. And I'll see you in the morning. Let's get it, baby. Okay. You got it. You got it. I'm good. No, you, you X out. You like the video. You stop. Stop. Seriously. Like the video, bro. Why are you playing with me? Just like it. I know you see this. I know you hear me. Like the video. You even made it this far and you ain't like the video, bro. Come on. I know there's more than 400 of you. Come on.